Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you the model pop-up in ESP.NET Core. So first of all, open in your controller that is home controller and when we click on the uh, action name, add it without any model, uh, okay, empty and there is uh, the thing you have and here we have a uh, code something like the div class container row and the column x it means you can uh, you can use the bootstrap okay if you know about the bootstrap there is the thing the class container is the whole thing uh, which is related to your screen and the row is uh, actually it's a type of the grid and the column x is it means the uh, large scale with the have 10 okay and the uh, first when we click when we add the button control in the list so the log uh, click for the login there is the button control button button id is the 10 okay similarly we can add the total part of the division here you can check this okay so when we click on the button control there is the button control when we click on the login button uh, click for login button then uh, generate a model so use two scripts file um, ajax.googleapis.com ajax lips jquery that is 1.11.3 and the bootstrap.min.js file so and also use this script control c and in the last position you can add it okay so script when we click on the button control uh, there is click for login the id is the button click event handle by the jquery button click dot click when we click on the button control then login dot model equals to show so uh, what is the login id of the uh, uh, form group is there div id and the login is there okay there is then show that uh, the division the whole part uh, included it here when we click on the button click then uh, sh uh, login is the id property of this division this is the outer division model fad login is show in which you can show the username there is the form okay you can check this when we click on the login button there is the button is show you can check this when we click on the login button then uh, login dot model equals to show there is the show model in in which we have a header that is the header okay in which we have a button control and the close button control is also there so close button is also there when we close when we click on the close there is the close so dismiss so uh, class equals to close data dismiss is equals to model okay and the h4 is the login button the header text when we click on the again there is the login there is the header okay and there is the model body where your item is exist username and the password so username is the password is there okay in the placeholder there is two login uh, login and the hide button login and hide button in the footer section so there is the footer model footer in which we have two button that is the login and the hide button okay so you can use this try this when we click on the uh, hide button uh, there is the when we click on the hide button the id property of this hide button model hide button model dot click the model is hide so again there is so thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching my all other video tutorial which is related to asp.net core thank you very much